thank you. And um, let me thank you all who testified. Um, I think um, I had difficult, but I thought productive meetings with all of the groups. So none of the testimony that you just heard or received comes as a surprise to me. I appreciate the SEC meeting with me and sharing their perspectives. GSO, thank you. Um, I also met with ASUH and um, earlier this week I met with the um, All-Campus Council of Faculty Senate Chairs. And so the, the, um, the views and perspectives that you just heard I think reflect much of the range of, of opinion around the university system on what is a difficult decision and was a difficult recommendation for me uh, to put forward before you. Um, I have a, an otherwise very fast um, President's Report today. Uh, I will, in the spirit of following on Bernadette, this is the Olympics time, and um, I know that uh, Ferd has been uh, reporting in his paper on some of the Hawaii connections into the Olympics. Um, I will also note that um, one of the things we don't notice is that our very own Pacific Disaster Center based on Maui has been uh, providing support to those who are managing the emergency operations for the Olympics, which as you can imagine is a huge job. And the Pacific Disaster Center, which provides geospatial information support for uh, disaster managers in Hawaii, nationally and internationally, was asked to help um, Southcom, which is the equivalent of PACOM that covers South America, to assist with some of the information displays to actually help the um, Emergency Operations Center for the Olympics be prepared and monitor for disasters. So I think it's quite a statement of confidence in um, a program that we've managed since uh, 2006 now. The second um, matter I want to mention is also a major event. Uh, September 1st to 10th will be the uh, IUCN World Conservation Congress. This is the largest conservation event in the world. It's held once every four years. Hawaii competed to host it on behalf of the United States. This is the first time the event is being held in the United States. So um, it's an APEC like in scope. Um, we'll have five to 8,000 delegates doing their business as well as participating in a conference. And I shared with you a written report. Um, UH has been part of this since day one. Um, President Greenwood and Chancellor Freitas were part of the delegation that went to Korea four years ago to pitch the US and Hawaii as a potential host. And I became part of the pitch team soon thereafter that um, was selected. Um, I should say that our uh, competition uh, was Turkey. So I think the IUCN is probably quite happy that they selected Hawaii uh, rather than planning for a trip to Istanbul next in the next two weeks. Um, and uh, I've highlighted some of the work um, of uh, our students and faculty in engaging. And uh, we will liter literally have scores of students, faculty, staff, and, and I will also be participating in events. Uh, we do not yet know if President Obama will be coming. He hasn't confirmed yes or no. Um, but there is some anticipation that that's a strong possibility. And certainly all of the security provisions are being made as if that's a possibility. So it will be uh, an exciting time for Hawaii around conservation uh, for the first part of September. And uh, I think many of us are really looking forward to the opportunities to share what we are doing and to learn from what's going on elsewhere in the world. So that concludes my president's report, Madam Chair.